Hi, and welcome to PLM 411. I'm Jim Brown with Tech Clarity. Today, I'm joined by KJ Carlson of Club W. Um, we've talked on this series uh, quite a bit about PLM and the value. One of the things, KJ, that uh, as I talk to people, a lot of the value of uh, improving efficiency and reducing cost. A lot of the stories people talk about are, are within engineering, or within you know R and D or product development. And one of the things I know that you've talked about um, is the value of PLM uh, for Club W, really across departments. Can you maybe give us an example? Yeah. So for us, you know, we use PLM not just in making the physical product, mm -hmm. but making the product as we do for the company. Since it's a consumer-facing product, it's an on the online presence. It's all the compliance that goes into it, and it's you know, we're making wine, so it's what is the what does the wine pair with? Does it pair with chicken? Does it pair with fish? And so as we decide to make a wine, make a cabernet at the beginning and we find the juice, there's so many departments. There's our compliance department, there's our content department, there's our legal department, our uh, engineering and our website and all these different teams that right. need to they need to stay in sync. And so when we first started producing our own wine, we realized we could do it on spreadsheets and do it the old way, but we said that's not the right way that it's not right. It's not the best way to do it. Yeah. So we wanted to find a product that was simple and easy to use, that would work for all teams to stay in sync and make sure that we didn't run into the classic problem where you get three quarters down the way and go, whoops, I should have done something right. four steps ago. Yeah. So something as, as in our business has kept us in sync all the way. Yeah, that's fantastic. And so so one of the things, I've, I've done a bunch of research on PLM over the years, and, and one of the things that I've seen is as companies use PLM and, and it matures, they tend to, a lot of companies do start in engineering and, and start with a very sort of product development, uh, you know, centered process or, or, you know, problem they're trying to solve. Um, but as it matures, it tends to move outside to other departments, cross departmental, um, but even outside of the sort of four walls of the business, out into the customers or suppliers and into the supply chain. Um, how has Club W looked at uh, PLM sort of outside of the four walls. So we do that in two different ways. Is you know finding wine is a global problem. Yeah. Right? We're not just bringing California wine, we're bringing wine from France, from Chile and from Washington state and from California. And so making sure that our vineyards and our winemaker partners have a way to communicate with us mm -hmm. and give us the data we need so we can create an online portal for them and, and let them access our data and so when it when the product does hit we, we have the data we need, we're not surprised by it, we're not doing data entry to it. Right. And the other part is that when we're actually physically producing the wine, our, the team that does the actual production in the bottling plant, mm -hmm. there's certain data that they need that since they're hours away, they can't just walk over and say, hey, I didn't get this. Right. And so, you know, they were able at the beginning to say, Here's all the, here are all the, the basic information. And then, you know, we do a couple iterations and then all of a sudden they go, we also need this, we also need right. that. And so making sure that we had, we had a way to, again, set those minimum requirements so that as they continue to need more, that we were always making sure we were giving them that data, that we cut down all the back and forth, all the emails by right. giving a consistent process to it. Yeah, and it's probably a little hard to unblend wine after uh, after you've blended it, uh, if, if they make a mistake, that's I have exactly to imagine. Right. And so, yeah, well, that's fantastic. Uh, it's, you know, it's really refreshing. It's certainly not your sort of grandfather's PLM system uh, that you're using. You're out there and, and doing interesting things across the department and uh, fantastic company too, love the wine, so. KJ, thank you very much. Thanks, Jim. And uh, thank you guys for joining. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. And uh, we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel so we can continue the conversation. Thanks so much.